Welcome back to C-Sharp Code, episode 4 of our series. In our last episode, we implemented ASP.NET identity and roles, creating a secure base for our application. Today, we are going to utilize that groundwork to expand our application's functionality. We will create the add author and add genre forms and their corresponding repositories. By the end of this video, admins using the permissions we set up in the last episode will be able to add new authors and new genres. Before we dive into our main topic for today's video, I want to cor correct something from the last episode. So in the registration model, first of all, I included when creating a new identity, a registration date property to our application user. Also, we made our role creation a little bit smarter. Now, before creating a new role, we first check if that role already exists in our database. If it does, we don't need to create it again. And this fix the issue of the user not being signed in after registration. The navigation menu is going to be a common feature across all pages. So let's move it from the navigation menu to the main layout page. Next, let's replace the admin stuff into a functional link that would direct the user to the manage book page, uh, which we're about to create. This page will be exclusive for admins. So let's create a new folder within the pages directory called admin and inside it, we'll create the manage books page. We want this page to be accessible to admins only. Let's test it. Victory. In Manage Books page, we'll have an overview of all the books and we'll be able to edit them. But before that, we need to be able to add new books. And in order to create new books, we need to be able to create new authors and new genres. First, let's create the form. For that, we're going to create a new razor component. We're going to call it Add Author. We'll assign a unique URL to this component and, rest and restrict its view to admins only. Next, we'll create a new instance of the author model and populate it using a form. With the help of bind value, we can assign user inputs to their corresponding model properties. Now the form inputs are being saved in the new instance of the author model, model that we created. To save this instance as a new record in the database, we need to create a repository. So let's go to our data folder, create a folder named repositories. Within it, create a folder called admin for organization's sake. Then we're gonna create a new class and we're gonna call it author repository. This class is going to inherit from iDisposable so we can properly dispose of our database context when we're done with it. After that, we're gonna create all the methods needed to perform the operation, the CRUD operations into the database. The create, update, Get all, get by ID, remove, update, you name it. I'm sure this is not going to be enough forever. But for now, I think it's enough. Now let's go back to our add author form and wire up uh, the repository. First, we inject the IDB context factory to create an instance of our data context. Then we're going to create a button. And when this button is clicked, we're going to call save author async method. This method is going to create a new instance of the author repository and then paste as an argument a new instance of a data context using the, the context factory. Then we're going to call the create author async uh, that we just created in the author repository and we're going to paste a new created author. So this method is going to take our created author and save it into the database. Let's try and add a new author. George Orwell is a good one. Now let's check the database and see if it has been updated. Perfect. Here I was trying to add a validation message. I'm gonna show when the user, uh, add, when the admin add a new author and then uh, disappear after uh, three seconds. It didn't work at first because I didn't use the didn't invoke the uh, state has changed method. I also had this problem because I forgot to create a new instance of the author after saving it to the database. Let's try and test it again. I used ChatGPT to generate authors for me because to be honest with you, I run out of authors. Now it's working. Perfect. Now, one thing that bothered me a lot during adding authors 
is, is the fact that I have to add the exact birth and death date of every author. And no one cares. We barely care about the year. So in the, the author class, I changed the type of death date and birth date properties into an int instead of date time. And for that, I needed to delete the database, delete the migration folder, add a new mi migration, and update the database again. I will register a new admin and ask GPT to give us a bunch of authors. Now, if we go to the database, as you can see here, we have all our authors added successfully into the database. Now that we're done with uh, the add author form and repository, we're going to do the same for genre. So let's create a new uh, a new razor component and call it add genre. Then let's copy the code from the add author component and paste it right into our add genre uh, component. We need to replace author with genre class and also the properties of authors with the properties of the genre class. We need to be careful when we copy and paste stuff like this because sometimes instead of gaining time, we can lose time in debugging later. Now let's create the genre repository, the same process of creating the author repository. In fact, we're just going to copy and paste again the author repository into our genre repository. Then we're going to replace everything one by one. So what I'm doing here is just uh, replacing author with genre. Let's fix our manage book page so we can see clearly what, what, what is happening there. And here is our add genre page. Now let's try and add some genre. I use GPT again to generate genre's names and their description. And it is working. Let's go to our SQL database and check if the database is being updated. And yes, it is our fiction genre. Let's add more. and more genres were added to our database. All right, that's a wrap for this video. We've built out our author and genre repositories and paired them with the corresponding forms. This will enable our admins to add new authors and genres. In our next video, we'll continue building upon our progress by working on the book repository. Remember, encountering bugs and running into issues is a normal part of the development process. It is not a sign of failure, but rather a stepping stone towards success. The process we went through so far might appear straightforward, even easy, but I assure you, it's not always a walk in the park. There were countless instances of trial and error, debugging and problem solving behind the scenes that you didn't see. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Your feedback is always valuable to me. See you in the next video. Till then, stay tuned.